So a few weeks ago now, a certain little trailer for a certain little movie about a certain little evil, historically known, worst son of a bitch serial killer ever came out. And as the internet does, it went apeshit over this, but not in the kind of way there where they were like, lol, look at this egg, it has more likes than a Kardashian, or Shaggy is the most powerful being in existence. No, this was more in the kind of way of reaction if like Liam Neeson just for some unnecessary reason randomly decides to admit that he nearly killed a black guy at some point or some celebrity said some racist thing on Twitter. Look, what I'm basically saying is this was a largely negative reaction. And I'm here to say that I, I disagree with those opposed. I think this movie looks great. Let me explain why. So if you're not up to speed, which I can't say anything because this trailer came out like a week, two, three weeks ago. So I'm definitely not up to speed, but the trailer that I'm talking about is for a movie called Extremely... What the fuck is it called again? <laughs> Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. And if you think that's a long title, you should see my penis. That's right, that's the level of comedy we're at today. So, this movie is about the American serial killer, Ted Bundy, who was just the worst. Murder, rape, necrophilia, just all the worst stuff. All the, all the worst stuff you can do, basically. This was a horrible, horrible person. Alright, anyway, so as I said, the general reaction to this trailer was largely negative. Some said that it looks disrespectful, and some might even suggest that it looks extremely wicked, or the other thing. <laughs> Shockingly evil and or maybe even vile. You know, like the title, that's my joke. And I don't necessarily not agree here. I certainly see where these opinions stem from and I mean they're kind of right. This movie is focusing on the killer and not the victims which belittles their importance and puts the asshole son of a bitch up on a pedestal right where he'd want to be. What's a and that does feel kind of wrong, along with the fact that the trailer comes off as kind of fun. It has this like energetic sort of attitude to it as like bold text flashes up on the screen and like rock and roll is like playing throughout as Zac Efron portrays Ted Bundy as kind of a heroic character. And that makes it sort of weird and I, I get that. But you have to not think about this with the knowledge that you have on the guy now. Because throughout the trailer and possibly throughout the movie, we're going to be seeing Ted Bundy through the eyes of those who loved him. His wife, the, the general public, the cops who respected him, maybe his daughter. All these people whose perceptions of him were totally warped. And in retrospect, all of these people were definitely wrong for trusting him. But this movie isn't set in the retrospective aftermath. It's set in the here and now as it was happening. In how he manipulated those around him and totally falsified this persona. And that's the genius of the trailer. And like, I feel guilty saying this and I don't like this. But while you watch the trailer, while I watch the trailer, I like him. I like Zac Efron as this character. And it's like, that feels super wrong. That's fucked up. But that's the genius of it because that is exactly how the people around him in real life were. People liked him. But here's the thing. The movie's tone doesn't reflect what the audience should be feeling and doesn't reflect the opinions of the filmmakers. So no, I don't think that this movie is going to glorify Ted Bundy or his actions. And I don't think that the trailer trailer even makes it look like it's going to. Which brings me to another point. The other sort of controversy behind this movie is that Zac Efron is the one that's going to be playing Ted Bundy. You know, Zac Efron with his like perfect abs and like just the most likable guy ever and all that shit. He is the guy that is going to be playing this serial killer who we have all come to know as a monster. The controversy being that Ted Bundy shouldn't be played by this good looking guy and shouldn't come off as likable due to his actions that he made. But now's the moment where we got to talk serious for a second. We, we, I just got to say something straight up. While he was alive, Ted Bundy was unfortunately a likable guy who gained the trust of all those around him and deceived everyone. He successfully distorted his image for the better throughout his entire life. I don't know if he was in general considered good looking, but he was at least normal looking. What I'm saying is there was a way for him to get to his victims. He charmed his way, he lied his way, and he wasn't like a ugly goblin man that lived in a dungeon. His face wasn't horribly scarred up. He wasn't disfigured. He was just a guy. And that's what makes it even more terrifying because he wasn't a monster. He wasn't a hulking giant man. He wasn't anything special. But he played his role in life and in his murders and used such characteristics to get to his victims in the first place. And so if you're pissed off at the trailer for Ted Bundy being portrayed as smart, intelligent, charming, likable, all of these other adjectives, well, 
I think you're just kind of missing the point. That is the point. He's meant to be that way. The movie is doing this on purpose and despite our knowledge, I think that we're kind of meant to get swept off our feet by the guy. He was a knowingly deceptive man and he took that to his advantage and that is this on screen. That's all. Sorry if you disagree. Tell me why if you want in the comments. Ciao Bella. I don't know why I do things.